I'm going to show you a few things on the uh, Viper EVT system. What we've done is we've taken a FLIR thermal imaging camera. This is using a FLIR A65. Uh, our typical system uses a FLIR A400, the new series out that has an integrated visible camera with MSX. Uh, very clean, nice uh, system here where we mount all the cameras, wire all the cameras back through the system. So when you receive the system, it, it comes like this in a crate. You just have to attach the monitor with the PC. The PC is running our Viper Vision software that I'll show you here in a second. Uh, and everything is done through the control uh, box that's mounted on the bottom. It is on caster, so if you need to move it around from place to place, that's fine. You'll be able to put it in a closet out of the way, for instance. Uh, or if you're going to mount it permanently, you can do that as well. So very simply, you'll notice there's a couple boxes on the screen that say waiting. We're waiting for someone to be screened itself. Um, and, uh, and you'll notice uh, we're reading this all the time. So if I go real time and do a scan, I'm actually going to show you where I'm going. There's a spot on the floor that's marked. So I'm going to go step here. And as I look at the screen itself, it's going to go green or red. So as I look into the, um, the monitor, it shows pass on there. I can adjust that for however, uh, whatever message you want to send to the customer. If you want to say, uh, have a nice day, or if it does flag as red, then you can have it do an alarm setting to where it'll, it'll show that on there as well. You'll notice in the screen, you'll see a reference emitter. So this helps us with the accuracy and repeatability system as it closes the loop on the camera system itself. A couple other uh, items that you'll notice on here, we actually record and, and broadcast the temperature data over the past time. We're not recording that to a particular person, but what this allows us to do is not only capture the actual temperature, but the average temperature. This is going to be important as time goes on throughout the day, uh, settings and conditions change. We can have two alarms on here. So we have a fixed eye, which is a maximum temperature setting. So if you want to set that at a threshold of say 100 degrees, or 100.5, you can do that. And then our average is gonna run, uh, much like the screening mode in the FLIR cameras, you can adjust that to a couple degrees over what the average is. So if it's cold in the morning and people coming in, it's likely that when they look uh, around their eyes, which is what this camera focuses on, it may measure 95 degrees. So if you set your th threshold at 97 and a half, or two and a half degrees above, when it goes to 97 and a half, it'll alarm. That's a good way to, to kind of take a lot of the accuracy out and, and do more on what the average is to look for that elevated body temperature for pre-screening. So again, very simple. I'm gonna step in front of the screen. You'll notice it takes about a second or two, and then I get the, the pass and fail sign uh, on the screen itself. We appreciate uh, you looking at our system today. If you have questions, reach out to us at viperimaging.com. Thanks, have a great day.